Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some Dragalia Lost, because I have Melsa and I want to play with her for a bit. Um, this is the team I'll be using with her. I should also say on the last day I was able to get Akasha. Halloween, so I'll be making a video of her later on as well. Um, I haven't used any of them both, so I plan to use them here right now. I really like Halloween dudes, so I just want to use them. So it doesn't matter to me how good they are, even though I think they're just kind of okay. Um, but that's going to be today's video. You can leave a... What in the hell? I literally just bought new HDMI cables. Are you kidding me? You can leave a like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you feel about Halloween Melsa. Uh, there's another thing I want to talk about. So I'm pretty positive. No, I'm not positive. But the way... So here's the weird thing I want to talk about. So here, let's talk about the elephant in the room right now. Stirring Shadows is a banner that's currently up. Um... You'll notice that after the gala banner, they went straight into a not Halloween banner. I don't know why, which is maybe the dumbest thing they've ever done. Um, but it makes me feel at the end of this week, we're getting another Halloween event with the return of a Halloween banner. Um, with hopefully those two on it, because if not, then it's really, 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 really bad thing to put limited units up there for three days that are Halloween. It's not like gala where you can gala units gala um however you pronounce it um it's not like gala where you can just like get them all eventually halloween is really only like once or twice a year ever uh unless you use the dream ticket so i don't know I, i'm i really think they should have planned this out better and had an actual halloween event instead of a shit during shadows rerun but maybe they wanted something closer to halloween to be actually a halloween event but you know i don't know hopefully this means at the end of this seven weeks We'll have a Halloween event that's uh, a real one. That's not just here's two characters hanging out. As much as I like, um, uh, as much as I like those two characters, you know, we need an actual Halloween event with maybe a Halloween raid of some kind. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do a daily deal. But yeah, it's weird. So let's go into it. So one of the things that I'm just, I'm probably, hopefully, gonna show up, well, depending on how bad I am, is the fact that she gets revived because she's a zombie. Um, I really do think that ability has really held her back from being able to be stronger because it really kind of screws her over in a very major way because she doesn't have an additional damage way to deal damage like everyone else does. She doesn't have like something that's like an ace in the hole or something that works with her skill set better. It just means that if she dies, she revives at uh, higher HP once. Um, it's not the greatest, but let's see. Okay, so first things first, this is going to give everyone some strength. And that, because that's really what her main role is. And let me see if I can inflict some poison. It looks like I did. Alright. What you really want to do is just constantly build it up and make everyone else way stronger. That's really what her main goal is here. So, fuck. For the dragon, I was going to say, I'll probably switch over to, um to uh, Butterfly in the Sky, just because I think that would be better suited than what her dragon is currently, because I really don't need their, her dragon at the moment. Alright, come on. Attack up. Go here. Alright, we're pretty good. We're going pretty good. Alright, here we go. And then go here. And then go back to her. There we go. Alright, not bad. We seem to be able to be poisoning, but we're not doing like a whole buttload of poison as far as I know. More attack. Everyone gets stronger, everyone gets stronger. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them. It's going to be real close. I should mention, she also doesn't have a wind weapon, which would help her a whole bunch. I'm still working on my wind stuff. Oh, get everyone stronger. There we go. And down he goes. 30 seconds left. That's not too bad, considering she doesn't have a um, her own weapon of her own type to give her uh, bonus damage. It's just it's just unfortunate that there are other units that kind of does what she does, but better. It seems like the main fault here is that that's going to be kind of the thing about her is that I think she's good. It's just, you know, someone does what she does just slightly better. <laughs> it's just the unfortunate nature of the beast. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, it's not going to stop me from using her, that's for sure. She's going to be on my team for an extremely long time. Let's go here. Go Mercury. 
Oh wow, I have access to Master? There's no way in hell she's strong enough to take down Master. Actually, it's not every day we actually are here to try it, so. This is actually, this would actually be a good test to see how much, oh no, there's no revive in this, is there? Damn, is there really? Oh, I'm about to find out. I don't remember if there's a revive in Master. I'm about to find out. I could have swore there was at least one, but maybe I'm thinking of Expert. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, no revive. So she's not coming back. Well, that's unfortunate. But let's see if we can make it work regardless. Let's see if I can convince her to go up here. Nope. Alright, there we go. So now that she's on this side, we should probably stay on this side. Yeah, she's gonna be aiming for me. Oh, no. Go away from that. Hit her with the bite. Give her some poison. Oop. There we go. Here we go. Give everyone a little bit more spooky time. At least, hopefully. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm bogged down. That would explain why I'm like, I'm like, why am I going so damn slow? There you go, there's the reason. You got him, you got him, you got him. Perfect. And this, so I can protect the AI, and then this too. I don't know if we're going to be going, no? There we go, spooky spooky. Ooh, we're at the spears part of this already, huh? Everyone seems to be doing pretty all right. Hit him with the spooky bravado. Uh-oh. This is the part where everyone- Oh, I was about to say everyone dies. Usually, I forget that they changed this for solo. I was like, well, this is the part where we all die, right? Nah, we're fine. There we go. She's just gonna do a constant drip down on us. Open bubble. Drip to the homie over there. There we go. That's fine. Make everyone a bit stronger. I'm really getting the focus here. Spooky Roboto. Good girl. You got this. This is also showing a little bit of the... At least I hope it's showing a little bit of the... Oops. Yep. Go here. There we go. Win! Protect us! We got this, little one. Don't worry about it. I'm actually going to keep it just in case we actually do need some surprise healing. But we shouldn't because we have Lowen. That's alright. A bit of that. For some extra damage, I am going to go here and quickly go... There we go. There we go. That's just less to deal with now. Perfect. Perfect. Everyone attack. Everyone attack. Everyone attack. Everyone attack. I'm yelling at my AI to attack this person that they're already attacking. Oh, come on. Now you're just kind of being a dick about this, Mercury. Oh. There we go. I should have been able to save them in time. There we go. I can't remember. Yeah, it's the waterfall. Oh no, they're gonna summon help, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Run! I was trying to see if I could make it to the bubble, I can't. That's fine. Give him a little bit more each attack from that. I should stop fighting them and fight Mercury, who is the actual boss of this fight. The one that will actually cause me pain. Ow. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, thank God, Lowen. You did, you did, me, you did me good there, bro. Just in case, I'm gonna use that. Go ahead, hit me with whatever you got, punk. You're almost dead anyway. Ow. Yeah, it is really funny how I can just uh, take constant things in the face with Mercury. When back in the day, when you fought Mercury, that was an instant death. That was insta death. Someone got Satoni on their first ticket? You lucky punk. I'm over here trying to kill- Come on, kill him. Aw, oh, are you serious? Kill her! 
All right, there we go. All right. That is what happens when you go out. I mean, it's totally, again, as you can see there, once you're built up, no real issue. She can do that no real problem at all. I should have gotten it. Damn it. Uh, it's fine. It's not like, what am I using? The Dragon Master thing anyway. Um, I think that's the end of the, the, the video right there. I've seen what I basically want to see. The main problem is, of course, Agido, which I'm sure on solo it should be possible with her. Um, at least an expert. I don't know. That might actually be very tough. You know? I'll have to work on building that myself. I know for a fact that she's not... I'm not well enough into the fight to, to know how well she's going to do. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can leave a like here. Comment about how you're feeling about her. If you're someone who's been using her a little bit more than me and you're happy, tell me about it. Do you think that her she, that first skill of hers that lets her revive is perfectly balanced? Let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to hear what other people have to say about Eunice, and I can go, oh, you know, I've never thought about that myself. You know, learn more about the game that way. And, of course, you can follow me if you want more stuff on Dragalia. But until next time, everyone, goodbye.